Congratulations on season two in this like weird television climate that doesn't always happen. Yeah. And we know that your character's alive in the future of season one. So did that like give you a little breathing room when creating your character and filming season one? Oh yeah, it was. It's been a really cool experience and unique to the show where a lot of a lot of building Travis has been kind of how I felt he wanted I wanted him to go. And I think that was really exciting because I got to talk with the creatives and craft this character together with them. And I didn't really have to share him very much. And that was kind of nice and, and beautiful. Though, you know, Andres has been so great every time he's come in and stepped in his older Travis. Um, but it's been nice to kind of craft our own version of him. And yes, sigh of relief. When I read episode three of season one, I went, oh, I have a job. <laughs> like, if I get season two, I'm back. Yeah. Now that you've filmed two full seasons, is there something about this show that is your favorite about being a part of it? My favorite thing about being a part of this show is honestly becoming a fan of this show. So every week, reading each script, yeah. really wanting to know what happens. But I've been getting really good where I've been trying to avoid stuff from our future timeline very much, unless it kind of pertains to my story, because I want to watch the show as a fan. So you, you have read-throughs and you kind of listen, but I try and tune out a little bit so that I don't ruin everything for you. And now you said you're a love is blind fan. Are you watching the current season? Yeah, I just started episode one. You know, Tiffany and Brett, let's go. Is that your favorite? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Let's go. I love it. It's giving Lauren and Cameron vibes. I'm all for oh, it. Oh, yeah. Um, can you give me like a 30 second teaser of why, if people haven't even gotten into Yellow Jackets yet, why they should definitely watch season one and get into season two? Yeah. If you haven't gotten into Yellow Jackets yet, you, you have to watch the show because it's one of the shows, one of the very few shows that's going to test what you're willing to do as a human. It's going to ask you questions of like how far are you willing to go for the people that you love, for your own survival. And I think that that's really nice. That's It's a scary, gross show, don't get me wrong. But it's so nice to have a show that's going to make you question your beliefs, which is then going to make you strengthen your beliefs. I think that's great. Perfect. Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much.